for big hugs. I am Leslie Catherine and welcome to Baby Steps Are Still Moving. Did you ever have something take place? Maybe it was something that you planned for. Maybe it was something that you didn't plan for. Maybe it was something that Boom! Sucker punched you. Now, I am not sure if you've ever had the experience of being sucker punched or shoved from behind as a child, but it really takes you off guard and you need a minute to catch your breath. Sometimes you can have literally every single thing planned and still BAM! You get sucker punched. I love making lists. Hard hands! Now, I don't love making lists as much as I love coffee. angelic looking into the distance. But lists are like a close second. I like making lists because it gives me certainty. So if I have a situation and I got to put pen to paper, baby, I kind of go, cool. <laughs> Which journal will I use? <laughs> ah! I'm a Virgo. We like making lists. Don't judge. But even when I am making that list and checking it twice, going to find out what's naughty and nice. Is it Christmas yet? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm making that list. And I think, hope, plan, that I have accounted for, you know, what could happen and and what I would need. And I, I get a little, a lot, a lot obsessed with making sure that things are, you know, that kind of a situation. It's what I do. But even people that are list making wackadoodles, like a me, <laughs> you miss stuff. And you can, I can, we can, find ourselves in a situation that we don't know what to do next because something happened that was not planned for. So what do you do? Usually we look at that situation and immediately go into the contingency plan, the problem solving place. What are we going to do next? I. But what happens when you don't know what to do next? What happens when you sit down and put pen to paper, baby? List making time. And, and you sit there at this list and you don't know what to do. And you just stare at this piece of paper. I don't know what to do. Choice time. There is an inner dialogue in your beautiful little brain that is going to do something very quickly, like that quick. It's going to solve the problem. Well, that, 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 that's a problem because we just talked about we can't solve the problem, but our brain wants to solve the problem. So there's going to be this pulling apart of what to do. And what happens as we're pulling apart, we're going to get stuck. So why do we get stuck? Why? Why do we get stuck? You're going along your merry way. Dookie, dook, 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 dook. My dook, dook fingers. <laughs> Dookie, dook, dook. And you get stuck. And you get stuck. And you get stuck. 
what would happen? I'm going to get crazy. There's the crazy phase. <laughs> it's like the, uh, the, the, the prologue to the crazy phase. Gonna get crazy. See crazy eyes. Ooh. What if we honored this stuff? And it's, I just thought of this literally this second making this video. What if we honored the stuck? What if we used that stuck to our advantage? And what if we used that stuck to take a minute and catch our breath and to kind of get our bearings and, and, and what? What if we got to a place where you're going along and you're trying to do something and you're trying to do something and you're trying to do something and it's not working. So what would happen if we got to that stuck place and went, whew, I can catch my breath. Almost like doing cardio or running and you get to that place where you need to stop and catch your breath couple deep breaths and then you can continue on cardio analogy you get to that place of running or doing cardio and you need and your body's saying i need a break you crazy woman <laughs> that's how my head talks to me sometimes <laughs> what happens if i don't take that break your body is going to make you take the break like you're taking the break. Either I'm taking the break or my body is taking the break, but there is a break being taken here. Happens the same thing in your head. You get to that place where you're stuck and there's that freezing, that stuck deer in the headlights. What do I do next? What if it was okay not to do what comes next? That's, that, that's actually crazy even for me to say out loud. Like I said, I never thought of this before this video. What if we could learn one baby step at a time to use stuck instead of being angry at the stuck, being angry at ourselves, being angry at other people that caused the stuck. And maybe they did. Like maybe they just... Blah. Maybe they're just not awesome human beings. And maybe they caused the stuck. Maybe they meant to cause the stuck. But what if we could take that stuck and go, all right, time to catch my breath. I didn't want to catch my breath, but okay. Pit stop. Pit stop on the way to your something. So what happens? What happens if we, one baby step at a time, begin that process of learning that a stuck, even a stuck, like the dreaded stuck can be used to our advantage if you flip that and your intention is to use that to your advantage because energy follows intent. What would be the biggest byproduct or the biggest outcome if we start to look and to focus that not knowing what to do, being stuck is, is okay? You're not going to be afraid of being stuck. And the next time you get stuck, you're going to go, eh. <sighs> I guess it's time to catch the breath. Okie dokie. You don't have to love something to be okay with it. Words have power. Thank you so super much for stopping by and spending some time with me. My name is Leslie Catherine and this is Baby Steps Are Still Moving. If you liked our video, would you pretty please hit that like button? And if you'd like to see more of these videos, could you please hit that subscribe button? And as long as you're hitting that subscribe button, 
cheese and crackers, you might as well hit that notification thing that lets you know when we have put a video out. I'm so super excited and grateful for you stopping by and spending some time with me and I will see you in our next video. Super big hugs!